What's up guys? So, in this week's one, we're going to see what we can do with this. This is a basket my wife picked up um, for her nail technician stuff. And she's asked if I can make a lid for it. I don't see why not. Should be within my skill set. So we'll see what I come up with for this. And in the end I've got six to make, but I'm not going to make you watch me make all six. We'll just start with one and see how I go from there. So um, stick with me and let's see how it turns out. I wanted to use some of the scraps that I had lying around the workshop. So I chose 18 mil construction grade hardwood ply. They're just basic lids so I didn't want to do anything too fancy with them. They're 350 mil by 260 mil in the end. So I gave myself a little bit of excess just to play with. I also skimmed the factory edge off of each side because I didn't like the way that it looked. I then needed to cut the little lip that was going around the outside so it would sit inside the actual basket. And this worked out to be about two and a half mil around each edge. I did take the riving knife off of this, but I remembered to put it back on before I made any more cuts this time. For the very first lid, I did try and use the bandsaw to cut off the edges nice and tight. But we all know the bandsaw is not my favourite tool, since I can't set it up properly. I then use a straight bit in my Roby trim router just to curve over the edges. This did not go well. So, forgot to record it, but made a little template for the box corners. So I'm just going to start cutting this out now and hopefully it will be good enough for what I need. So, we'll see in a minute, alright? So I cut out and tacked some lips to the bottom for it to hook over the edge of the wood like a proper template. But, no, didn't work. Okay, just jump in here just for a second, just to say the template that I made, absolutely rubbish. Doesn't, when you put it on the corners, it doesn't line up anywhere even close to where I wanted it to. So that is a pile of rubbish. But I did remake it with this one, which followed the curve a lot better. I actually sanded this one to shape rather than try and cut it to shape, which was the probably the key factor. So um, yeah, make sure your templates are right. You'll see me use this one in a minute and it's a lot better. So uh, templates, very important to get them accurate, which I've learned the difficult way. But anyway. So with functional template in hand, I used a trend template profiler that I got off of Amazon in order to uh, follow the guide around because I didn't have any flush trim bits. So I went around the top lip of every single box, as you see here, and then I flipped it over and went around that little rebate in the bottom bit uh, for the lip. And, well, it actually seemed to work on the first one. Unfortunately, I've now just got to duplicate it five more times. I thought I'd annoyed the neighbours enough this time, so I took the sanding outside. It was a lovely day as well. So I started off with 80 grit on the top and bottom, and then went through my standard procedure of working my way up those grits. I did 80, 120, 180, and because I'm not putting any finish on it, I went to 240 as well. I still don't like the sanding though. It absolutely kills. I don't know whether I'm holding it too tight or doing it wrong, but I don't like it. Because it's construction grade ply, it didn't take the router very well, so I needed to go back over with just a little bit of sandpaper just to knock those edges off and tidy up any seams on it. But they still turned out really nicely. And there you have it. I knew, told you it was in my wheel set, I could do this easily. So, there you go. Bit of 18mm ply. Uh, annoyingly, construction grade. I should have used nicer plywood, but I wanted to use some scraps, so unfortunately, uh, it's not come out perfectly. There's been a few blowouts here and there, but 18mm ply, little uh, groove around the edge just with the curve of the table saw. Um, and there you go. So, if you've got any 
are these little boxes that you can buy from any old place. I'm pretty sure she got these from Amazon, but they're standard plastic boxes. There you go, you can now make your own lids for them because they don't normally come with lids. And uh, they do look quite good. No finish on it. Um, the wife didn't want any finish on it, so I've just sanded them to 320. Um, which is sort of fairly smooth enough. I could have gone higher, but there's not a lot of point. I don't want to take off too much of that top veneer. But um, yeah, so she's got six of these now. Um, she's already got three of them inside because she was impatient and couldn't wait for them. But there you go, done. And um, yeah, fairly easy, fairly easy. So if you want to make any yourself, you can follow along to the video. They're fairly simple to make. Anyone can figure it out. But um, yeah. That's me done for this episode. I'll catch you later on. See you later guys. And okay guys, don't forget, hit that subscribe or check out my other videos that are here. And if you want to support me on Patreon, it'll be really helpful to help me build what I do and grow as a woodworker itself. But subscribe, hit that bell icon, and have a chat to me in the comments. I'm always there.